Hi everyone, in this lecture you're going to get to know the MySQL interface. So when you open up MySQL instance that we have created for the first time, this is something that you'll pro probably see. So in here we have the editor, the, we have the query editor where we write SQL code. So this is that part. On the left we have the navigator which has two tabs. The first one is administration, then we have schemas. On the top we have our menu, we have our uh, tabs. All the commands are there, but the useful commands are listed out here. So the first one is going to create an SQL tab. The second one is going to import or open SQL um, uh, databases. We can create a database or a new schema in this table as well. So uh, on the right, we have the SQL additions tab which uh, if you look here top right corner you can see that we have a window with the on the right of it we have a blue uh, rectangle if you click on it that is going to be deactivated and the sequels addition is going to go away i'm just going to do that on the bottom we have the output so anything that you run uh, the result of that uh, the status of that uh, SQL query is going to be shown within the output so I'm just going to get rid of that as well and uh, in the administration we basically perform some administrative works like we can find the server status we can start a server we can shut down a server so if you click here this is going to give us the server status and this is the host Muslim Halali socket port and all the information that we need uh, on the server, you can see that the server status is currently running. How, how, how much of the server we are consuming and everything is basically here. Most of, these, most of this data is basically self-explanatory, so I don't need to go over it. And the interface is very, very, very simple. And uh, basically, in the navigator where we are going to spend most stuff or well basically to be honest all of our time we're going to spend that in the schemas schemas is um uh, we have the, here we have our databases so we have already a database by name of Sakila we have sys and we have world where uh these this these three are default if you have installed MySQL recently uh, I'm going to get rid of this uh, Sakila by the end of this lecture because we are going to create our own. And um, I'm not going to show you how you can create a database. That is towards the end of this course, but I'm just going to give you the code so you can create it so you can work with it. So it's like we first create a database, query data, and then after we created the data, I'm going to show you how you can create a database from scratch. So if you click here on this icon you can see that there are four um, uh, four components to the Sakila database we have tables which contains our data we have views which are similar to tables but they're used to combine data from multiple tables we have stored procedures and functions where uh, they store logic of our database so so we can query data so if you try to expand tables these are all the tables all of the tables available within this Sakila uh, database, within this database. And now when you hover on any of these databases, you're going to see three icons being highlighted. The first one is going to give us information about that particular table, when it was created and how it, uh, what, what is the size of it, what is the row format, what is the engine, and where it is actually located you can see the columns these are the columns within there and the type of the data we have small integer we're going to talk about these data types as well uh, we have uh, all the rest of the data here we have the indices so this is basically going to give us the information about this table the second one is going to show us the settings for the table. We are going to talk about primary key, not null. We are going to unique keys, binary, and all of all of them. And I'm going to tell you what these small int, varchar, varchar, and timestamp, what these actually mean. What are these indices? What are these foreign keys? Where do, do they come from? We're going to talk about them briefly, of course. And... Um, 
so that was the second but the third icon is basically going to show us the table now this is the most interesting part now this um i can zoom in using control and plus you can see it says select star from sequila dot actor this if you're new to sql this is your this is going to be your very first interaction with an sql command this is called the uh, select statement where it is comprised of two clauses the first one is the select clause and the second one is the from clause which is used to query data we are going to talk about this as well in detail of course so we have you can see that this data is tabular we have columns uh, actor ID first name last name uh, last update now something that you need to keep in mind is a common convention for column names now the, the table name could be plural or it could be singular a common convention is that it is singular you can provide it plural it doesn't really matter but as far as the database design is concerned for column names it has to be singular that is the common convention that is you're going to see that in job interviews uh, whatever whenever they ask you a question about this you need to say that it is a best practice to provide um, um, singular column names this is a common convention and each data uh, or values within a column they represent the same data so first name starting from top all the way to bottom you're not going to see numbers you're just going to see first names same with last names you're going to see textual data and then you're going to see timestamp so this is our very first uh, table and this table is named actors as you can see the name of actor the name of the table is right here and using the SQL command we can we can get this table so we can also uh, delete a database so before actually um, ending this lecture what I would like to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this database so I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to say drop schema and if you say drop now there you go the secular database has been dropped or it has been deleted the reason for that is we are going to create our own database and we are going to make queries uh, create queries or execute queries against our own database we don't want to work with the, another database because that database is created in a way that we can use it for all of our upcoming chapters that's it for this lecture see you in the next one